Hello there. Today, let's take a look at this Mauritania area with these out-of-place channels or, or potentially artificial, strange, uh, linear features and associated features. And then we'll revisit this example and some of the surrounding area. So uh, some pretty cool stuff to look at today. So uh, let's hop over to Google Earth and check it out. So we'll be looking at uh, this general area in Mauritania, specifically like right up here. And uh, so here's the Eye of Africa or so-called uh, Rashat structure. And we'll be focusing mostly on this area. And we'll also take a look at this area down here and some other stuff in the uh, surrounding area. Okay. Um, uh, I have fewer applications open right now, just briefly, so uh, hopefully this screencast is a little less laggy and you can actually see me scrolling around, but uh, if not, I apologize, I haven't quite fixed that yet, so. Uh, so there's this Eye of Africa thing, the, uh, uh, the Rashad structure, we'll maybe talk about that a little later, but uh, so let's go to this area right here. So I'll turn my place marks back on. And first of all, what do we have? We have this linear feature here. So uh, I, I don't think I found this one on my own, although I'm sure I would have if I just zoomed in on the area. But uh, yeah, we've got this uh, groove here. Let's measure how wide it is. Um, about 150, 200 feet, uh, the width of this linear ravine here. And then you see it continues here and kind of continuing along this path right here. And then it continues and kind of peters out. Not quite clear where it ends. It almost looks like it keeps going faintly. It's hard to see, but uh, yeah. So I think this is some type of artificial thing, especially with uh, this rounded path here. Um, I think this is another pass through or maneuver with some type of weirdness. And you see kind of the linear edge of it there. And um, maybe even another thing here, see that? Uh, hard to say definitively on some of these, but there's just a whole bunch of, like you see here, this, these linear edges and paths. And the, the area is like kind of crisscrossy in the natural patterns of the rock, or in other words, the, the natural rock layers are kind of, um, they appear to be somewhat angular in the way they crumble, uh, perhaps. Um, but then we have all this other artificial stuff going on, in my opinion. So this is like a rounded maneuver that just kind of went around here. Get a better view of it when you kind of zoom out. Doesn't look natural to me, although... Mm. Yeah, I mean, obviously I could be wrong, but it's looking very artificial to me. Um, Squiggle Ridge, what else? Some of these are certainly like hiking trails and then uh, our dirt roads. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's just one by one kind of work, work our way up through these, uh, these place marks along this ridge here. Um, so just up along here. And the general idea is it, it looks heavily worked over. So um, start over here. Another long artificial path, follow it both ways. So might as well start here. So we have some type of path here, it's pretty faint, but you can see it. And uh, there it is. And it's kind of like, 
uh, it looks narrow in some parts and then wider in other parts. Like here, it's like multiple, uh, I don't know, paths or just some, there's some width to it. And then, let's see. I don't know if this is the same one, but here's another one right here. And some of these are looking like they could be natural, but then there's all this other artificial path weirdness going on. See that? Uh, that might... Mm, tempted to say that's like a, a riverbank or something, or... And then see this? These straight lines here looking discontinuous to my eye, looking like the, the edge of some kind of path here. And like, I don't even have a place mark here just because there's the idea, the, the, the general idea is that uh, the whole area here is so worked over that you can hardly zoom in anywhere without seeing some type of artificial strangeness. Like you see here, these, uh, these, parallel um, indications of some type of working over here perhaps as well. And we do see the like these long, more natural looking uh, streaks or grooves, like these large scale things, but then we also have these, uh, this one kind of meanders a bit. We also have um, some that look more like paths, the path of something, you know what I mean? But uh, let's go back to this one and finish it up. Let's follow it this way. So it seems to go across over here. Maybe seeing it there as well. And... Um, so some conventional potential explanations, uh, we could be looking at like mining, although I think this is too large scale and heavy duty for, for mining stuff or exploratory activity or research activity. I think this is possibly another line here, but I think this is a uh, weird artificial stuff. Um, yeah, it could be mining or uh, some type of old agriculture or mm, irrigation, maybe. I, I don't think that's a good explanation, but uh, prepping the land, I don't think so. Uh, let's look at this in the historical photos, see what we see. Oh, crap. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think we get much look back in time here. 4 p.m., it's doing that weird thing. Um, maybe over here, it's a different story. No, we're not getting much of a look back in time, unfortunately. But yeah, we'll get to these lines over here in a minute. Just these very many lines that are discontinuous looking and out of place. Okay, uh, oh, maybe some photos here. Oh, yeah, here, okay. Uh, we had this historical photos for a second. Um, I don't know if we're going to... So we have this one photo, and we see this line is here still. This long scar or line is there, but it's this image is low resolution, and I don't know if there's any other images that it's going to give us. So... Uh, yeah, this one, there's a chance it's natural, but just the, uh, uh, along some stretches of it, it looks too regular to my eye. And, uh, so yeah, let's continue. Squiggle Ridge. This looks almost looking like a stone wall or something. This could be anything, could be just runoff of water or 
something uh, could be like a, a rock, a rock wall, stone wall, like we've seen in other places. And um, so worth noting here, the layering of the rock, the bedrock, seems to crumble in layers, but also I'm not entirely convinced that it's natural crumbling. I think this whole, well, I already, I'm repeating myself, this whole area may have been edited heavily somehow, but let's, now I'm looking at these ridges, looking a little regular, but maybe that's what sand dunes kind of do. Uh, so faint edge, okay, let's look at these, path continues, okay, so faint edge of long path, broken up, starts and stops, it's a little typo there, um, so I think I'm looking at like here, this edge here, and this, maybe, and it kind of goes across like this, you see parallel lines kind of going in multiple directions here, it's not the best example, but you kind of see it here, it's very faint. Um, hmm. Sometimes it's hard to know what I was talking about. And sometimes the images will have updated so that I can't, I'm, I'm not looking at what I place marked to begin with. So it'll look slightly different than when I was dropping the place mark initially. But, uh, okay, that's not the best example. Let's look for more blatant ones. Faint path continues, edge, faint. Okay, so let's check this out. So we've got this here is what I'm referring to. This. With this little guy there. and possible here as well, and here, and so here it's kind of looking more natural, you see, like these natural eroding layers kind of looks like. notch okay so we have like this is interesting so we have like this linear notch it's kind of subtle but you can see it this notch at the top of this uh, little uh, cliffside or whatever and then looking like it might be collinear with this as well and possibly Continuing out this way, like that, something like that, perhaps, and uh, even stuff like this, like that very slight, subtle notch there, or like this. Let's go back. Yeah, we see this a lot on the uh, along this rim or ridge. We see a lot of these notches at the top. Oh, what kind of looks like a strange notch. So I'm thinking this whole uh, cliffside was edited artificially. Toolpath where. So it changes directions and continues. So it's like going like this here, and then I think I'm talking about like this. Uh, yeah, I think it goes like this, maybe. Okay, yeah, let's zoom out a little bit to get a sense of it. So it's like this, I think we're seeing. Like, yeah, there, and then here keeps going and like that. It's pretty subtle, kind of faint, but I think it's there. 
And we see what looks like another one here, maybe like this or something. These two are looking less uh, artificial. Like this, this is a little less artificial looking than this one. Just this one, just like a, kind of like a straight, uh, straight chunk, like a little nub. Whereas these are a little more flowy. Like I could imagine this being like water flow or something when it rains or whatever. Um, let's see what else we see. Let me just confirm that we're still recording here. Yep. Okay, good. Let's keep moving. Linear notch over here, maybe. Yeah, I think I already pointed this out. Or one of these. Mm, perhaps. It's, it's tough to say on that one. Short, faint, wide, parallel grooves. Let's check that out. So I think I'm talking about these, maybe? Like this, and this, and this. See that? And then here as well, continuing, perhaps? Mm, hard to make out. Maybe continuing over there. Yeah, but like this maybe. Yeah, this is looking like something. If you follow my mouse. Uh, like the edge of it and the edge of it. The edge of it continuing. Maybe. Sometimes I feel like I'm seeing things, but here we have some potential similar thing going on. There, like changing direction. This could be, it's hard to tell if these are like trails or dirt roads or, or this type of path phenomenon. Um, what else? Fine parallel lines. So yeah, we've got these these fine lines here, which could be the natural way the rock is configured. Although we see it continuing there, here, faint, faint indication of it there, something. And, uh, or it could, could be like the artificial patterns uh, try to uh, look more natural in some places than others. So these, these lines across kind of look natural, but they may even be artificial as well, potentially. And multiple directions. Um, okay. So I'm just entertaining the idea that this area of land is like sheared flat, like it's like a flat, kind of flat top mesa type area. Possibly. Uh, yeah. So far, I think this is the, the goofiest one we've seen in this video so far. This one right here. And I think we'll see some stranger ones. So just, uh, or equally strange ones. So just hang in there. Um, I'm just trying to cover all the place marks in the area. Path continues. Uh, already went over this one. Okay, so this path here potentially like this. See it here for sure. And then possibly continuing like this. I may have already discussed this one, but multiple, looking like multiple indications or multiple pass-throughs. And 
maybe even here. Here, maybe angular something. A lot of this stuff is pretty subtle or uh, not not definitive, so you, you can't necessarily take these uh, these edge case examples and and use those to build the case. But they they do play a, a role, I think. Okay. Notch at the end of the maneuver, covered that. This one going like this, it looks like. What else? What else? So here, potential stone circles, I think. Uh, so that's noteworthy, I think. I think the stone circles and geoglyphs are, they may be like a calling card of some kind. Or all of these weird patterns that we're discussing, they may be, they may have a calling card aspect to them. This is kind of angular looking. Maybe even right here. Uh, kind of an abrupt edge there, perhaps. Here, maybe. Here. Um. And it's the, the desert, so a lot of this stuff is going to be obscured by sand from sand, sandstorms and whatever. Just mat material depositing. What's this? This looks like some kind of settlement or modern operation. Okay. Worth noting. Is this all old mining activity? I don't know. I don't know if I, if I buy that. Another potential notch here. Mm. Possible angular thing here. Faint edge of long path. Or faint edge of path. Let's look at that. Um, which path am I talking about? I think maybe this. Mm, that's not a great one. Here, maybe. Here, these uh, these are looking very regular to my eye. This could just be the natural rock layers eroding away, but it also looks kind of like multiple passes of, or I don't know, like also these parallel lines here. See these? Those strike me as strange and artificial. Just oddly, oddly regular is what I would call that. Oddly regular parallel lines. Let me drop a place mark real quick. Nearly parallel lines. Okay, one moment. Thank you, please. Uh, okay. This path here may be there's something something like this. Maybe seeing maybe even here. It's hard to know what's a a ribbon of naturally differential material and what is some kind of artificial something. So linear feature continues. So not perfectly linear, but this, like this right here, this kind of dark thing, and then looking like it kind of continues here in some fashion, like this, maybe. Um, Hmm. OK. 
Okay, the paths in surrounding area may be... Uh, so are the cliffs artificially shaped too, or are they natural? So these, these patterns here, is this natural layering? Very, very likely. Uh, this angle here, is that the natural way that it looks? This kind of straight feature? Uh, certainly possible. Um, here's another one of these potential paths here. I think, like here. And uh, this protocol, this artificial terraforming weirdness, I think they sometimes um, strategically make use of nearby uh, natural features. Uh, so like they would put an artificial feature where, right in a spot where it could also look like it might be part of a river. Like that would be a, a strategic placement of an artificial um, thing. Oh, and we haven't even discussed this wide band here. Talk about that in a minute. Uh, but like, yeah, like this, see here, this is not looking natural to me. This is looking artificial. Uh, like that, the edge of it there, in my opinion. And then it's, it's kind of straightish for a while, like just, just, just uh, out of place enough that we might be able to uh, suss out that it's, that something's up, or that it's a little weird, and then it kind of, uh, it's looking pretty clean there, or right here at least, and then it kind of goes down into this ravine, and of course these flows might just be natural, natural uh, runoff from this artificial pattern, but they also might have put this artificial pattern right next to where we, we could, uh, where it would have some plausible deniability, like where we would have to at least consider that it's just part of this natural flow. So I think, like again, the, the idea of straddling multiple possible interpretations, like uh, I think the, the subtleness on that front is not to be underestimated. I think they, they really... Um, this algorithm is really comprehensive and, and thorough and uh, rich in the way it um, integrates things. Uh, and uh, like I, I don't I don't know that this the placement of these artificial patterns is entirely random. I think it's done in such a way as as to uh, be. as to look like it might be natural, or as to look like it might be mining, or as to... I don't know, I think you get the picture there. So there's this band around the, the rim here, uh, and it's looking like, certainly like it could be a natural feature, like just the, the layering but uh, in some places, it has a very, very clearly defined edge, which is odd. And let me just see if I skipped over any place marks here. Uh, stone circles. Faint edge of path, maybe. Okay, linear feature, this guy here. And even this, like this angular change of direction, perhaps. See that? So like something, and then you see it continuing here. So like something like this is like a, an indication or a, uh, a giveaway that this layer perhaps is not entirely natural. Maybe. Just uh, speculation there. And yeah, I think these ridges are natural, just the natural buildup of sand and the sand dune. Uh, what else we got? 
Yeah, I think this is some type of artificial path here. Some type of weirdness. Uh, okay. And then... Edge of large scale maneuver, so let's check this out. This... Uh, looking like it might be the edge of a natural geological layer here, like this certainly looks more natural. Um, but I think if we follow it, we'll see some more oddly regular edges to it, not to mention surrounding paths and some angular stuff uh, in the surrounding area. But like here, it's looking like a very well-defined edge of something. This just looks odd to me. along this path as well and here kind of like a crisp edge or rim to that feature and what else and here especially like you see this like th this edge here and this right here so let's check these out follow this and then it seems to angularly change directions right here it's like going straight like this, then it angles up like this, and then it's pretty very straight for a while. Like this is one of the more blatant ones, I think. Like you see this edge here. This is looking very much like uh, like this edge over here, but um, but this one looks a little more natural just because it kind of contours with the uh, the cliff side. And we might interpret that as a, uh, a natural geological layer, which it might be. But then we also have to consider how similar it looks to this guy. And this is a pretty much perfectly straight uh, line, which has the very, very same look to it. And has these clearly defined edges, and then has this angular turn right here. So it's perfectly straight. Um, it's about three miles long, and uh, how wide is it? Let's check that out. So we've got these pretty clear, clearly defined edges, and it's about, whoops, it's about 100 feet across. Uh, could this be modern industrial work of some kind? Uh, oil and natural gas expo uh, exploration? Certainly so, I just, it just doesn't, it doesn't uh, appear that way to me. I think it's more, more like uh, one of these strange quasi-natural, quasi-artificial features that we're seeing here, these pretty uh, clearly defined walls of this guy and it meanders a bit but still there's kind of like a through line of straightness or uh, overall straightness to it um, kind of like a ravine or something and see like it kind of like goes up and down and certain lines fade out and certain lines start up again but all the all the linear activity is occurring on some sort of coherent wide line so uh, then this line here we'll talk about uh, so we're spending a long time on this area uh, in Mauritania, but that's that's all we're going to discuss in this video. So just trying to be thorough in my coverage of this area like here something Here we're seeing a clean linear edge there Whatever's going on and then let's keep following it and we kind of lose it up here uh, 
I don't have my place marks on, so I might be missing some things. And here it just kind of fans out and peters out. Not seeing it anymore, maybe here, but. Uh, these lines here, like this, looking kind of like a channel to me. This here. Maybe this as well. Yeah, certainly. This guy right here. It's just like, it's too many. There's this really long one. We'll follow that in a minute. But uh, I want to um, try and finish out these place marks right in this general area. So let's do that. So we kind of went over this rim here. And possible faint thing there. Um, Maybe not, but uh, short straight bit. So what am I talking about? This is pretty cool. This uh, looking a little angular here. This uh, this edge here, and then this abrupt angle here, and this abrupt angle here. See how angular this looks? And maybe even here and here. Uh, again, they didn't want to make anything look too artificial, but they didn't want to make it look too natural either, for some reason. Again, the reason I can only speculate on, but I think I, I can be fairly certain that there's an effort to both uh, deliberately uh, be artificial and also be more natural in some aspects. So it's like a, a wonky hodgepodge of natural and artificial maneuvers and uh, patterns, I think. Maybe here, path across, potentially. Okay, but yeah, this, this angular thing could be a coincidence or just completely natural, but who knows? Uh, long maneuver here. So I think covered this already. Like, yeah, you see, you can see it continuing there, like here, and then you, just, you can certainly see it there. It's pretty faint, but it's definitely there. And it, I would say that's discontinuous, and it's not, it's not uh, a natural feature of the environment. And just on a hunch, I don't think it's exploratory or mining activity either. Exit path. Uh, okay, what am I talking about here? Well, let me finish this little one here. So it kind of goes out this way, and what else does it do? Kind of see the edge of it here, perhaps. And then we might just kind of lose it. We might This might still be it, but maybe not. Uh, Okay, so let's check this out. What's going on here? Here, resembling the exit path I was talking about with the sweeps, we see along coast. So let me try and get a feel for what I'm talking about. So like when something goes like like this, like uh, on the coastlines, I was considering that it's like uh, sweeping a distance or tooling or um, reconfiguring a distance of the coast or land mass and then it kind of uh, just kind of changes direction at the end of the sweep or maneuver and kind of exits or or enters whichever uh, along a, a curve like an exit path so I think that's what I'm talking about here like it's pretty subtle but like this guy it's uh, could be that and uh, maybe also something there, that, maybe. And then what else was I seeing a second ago? Um, crap. Well, I don't know. Possible linear thing there. See that? And...
lots of like linear tick marks. See, this could be natural, but maybe not. This angular guy, maybe natural. Um, yeah, this is not super definitive or smoking gun or anything like that, but it's just a subtle thing to consider. What do we got here? Here's some kind of zigzaggy things going on, maybe. Like that. Abrupt patterns there, perhaps. Um, long maneuver meets streaks, which resemble the coastal streaks. What am I talking about here? I think I'm talking about this maneuver. Yeah, this long maneuver. So let's take a look at this guy. So I think this is fairly definitively artificial to my eye. See this? Pretty discontinuous with the land. Just kind of uh, maneuver across here and continuing here and continuing here. Very similar to what we were seeing. What uh, where was it? I don't know, but here's another notch. See that? Perhaps maybe even continuing right here. Something like that. Uh, I'm looking for where this was. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, we already covered this one. I'm sorry. So here we have this possible stuff like this as well. So uh, yeah, so this guy we already covered, but uh, then we see a similar thing just down the way here. And uh, so this is looking like kind of a oddly regular uh, maneuver of some kind. And okay, here's here's a good example. Uh, if you thought these other notches were completely natural, then look at this one, because this one has like a, uh, a very scraped up look to the end of it, like um, to my eye, I think. Could just be slightly different conditions right here, but what I'm seeing is like some type of uh, Chigga chigga chigga. <laughs> those are, uh, those are earth mug, earth's earth's surface makeover noises. Chigga chigga chigga. Uh, so even continuing like down here maybe, just weirdness. Let me take a drink of water. Okay, and then maybe continuing here as well. Is this people? Maybe this might be a little mini human operation there, or rocks, I can't tell. And then even this edge here, this might be artificially edited and see along this edge here, potentially. But uh, yeah, so okay, remember, um, remember the uh, cartoonish rivers I've been talking about, or showing in the surrounding area in the last couple of videos. Um, so there's, there'll be like a, a river bend and then um, just like a straight uh, edge kind of, like especially in that one in the Amazon. Uh, crap, I feel like I should go find it, but uh, like an abrupt, like linear feature uh, within the cartoonish river system. That's kind of orthogonal or at, a, at an angle to the uh, natural flow of the river. So that's kind of similar to what I feel is going on here. Like just this is kind of at an odd angle to the surrounding activity. And kind of uh, culminating right here, this maneuver or potentially continuing here. And Arg could certainly be a natural layer of rock or natural differential um, 
component to the rich rich geology, but here it's looking like it continues, picks up over here across the way, perhaps, looking very uh, artificial, like yeah, artificial, showed this already, but it's looking pretty strange, and then a similar thing there, this weird uh, derped notch, and then this line even, this faint line across, Possible zigzagginess, might be a foot trail. And then these clearly defined edges here of this, uh, what almost looks like a large channel. And then let me get my place marks going again. Okay. So yeah, when we zoom out here, we see this like here. See that? And I think it's artificial. And then here, maybe like another notch going on. Oops. Okay. Notch, notch. Abrupt end of maneuver, maybe. Not really, because it looks like it continues here. And then, it's a well-defined edge here. So the idea would be that something traced a path along the rim of this, not to mention all these other paths. Um, and ha have I, I don't, I don't know if I've talked too much about the idea of a, a virtual pass through. So when I say the word path or like a pass through, uh, so we've got stuff like this, like supposing something traced this path or maybe this path here, so it didn't necessarily trace this path along the earth after the earth was there. <laughs> there I mean, and I don't mean the entire earth right now. I just mean the, the ground, the rock, the earth, earthy dirt. Um, so it's possible that um, some... Uh, It's, it's a little out there, a little speculative, or very, but if there was some, like, Play-Doh type of uh, material or, like, just the rocky area, the, the raw material that was to be sculpted, uh, so there could, there could have been a big lump of raw material that was to be sculpted, and then in, in a computer, they had a, a model of, like, a 3D model of what that sculpted material was to look like once it was finished being sculpted, and then um, uh, in that model, like, to achieve the, the pattern that they wanted to achieve, uh, they, in their computer alg algorithm, they had some type of little virtual minions going on inside the, the 3D uh, render program, like their, their CAD program or whatever, whatever it's called, and they... Uh, um, so they had just like some some little um, virtual minions doing random walks, or uh, not not completely random, but uh, just uh, walking according to uh, whatever pattern or alg algorithm they were using to uh, to generate this pattern. So it's like these these paths were part of a rich generation of a pattern by little um, minions, and then that pattern was imposed on a big lump of raw material. That's possible, and if that's the case, then we're, that's why we're not seeing like tire tracks or anything like that, um, or anything resembling like legitimate tooling. Uh, it's just some type of weird path that's possible, and that would be obviously very high technology and very large scale. Um, Hopefully I, I explained that well enough. Maybe I'll try again in an, a later video. Uh, but obviously I have no way of vetting that idea. It's, it's pretty out there. So um, here maybe looking like kind of an abrupt path. See this? Just, it's, there's too much to ignore in my opinion. Too much uh, potentially artificial stuff.
maybe here, maybe not. Uh, although, yeah, kind of looking like, like there. Like I was looking at this, and then I was like, no, that's probably natural. But then you see like this faint indication of it there. It's like, crap, well, maybe it's not natural. And that's, that happens a lot. Here are some possible angular, chunky... You see what I'm talking about? Like... Possible. And I didn't look at every square inch of this, obviously, but presumably if we zoomed in on some more places, we could find some more questionable stuff to look at and analyze. Uh, but what else? What else? Possible zigzagging. Maybe not. Maybe here. Maybe not. All right. Uh, well-defined edge of long path. So maybe let's... Uh, okay, here's another potentially well-defined edge here. See this? It's kind of like... It's easier to make up your mind if you kind of see it from multiple zoom levels and angles. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe that. Let's see how are we doing on the place marks. So I think we went all along this rim pretty much. I'm sure we could go further, like this might be a path. Here, uh, some possible parallel lines there. Maybe even like underlying squiggly patterns. You see what I'm seeing? Mm, maybe not. I don't know. But potential big long path here. Like, maybe, yeah, looking like it continues all the way. All the way uh, over here. Like. And yeah, I'm sure we could see more of the same stuff in this area but well, there's just there's just at a certain point it's like it's just more of the same and I'm sure you've realized that already it's just like too much to study um getting kind of distracted here but that's how you stumble onto cool stuff. You just scroll around and see what happens. Maybe here, maybe here. See, this is looking like kind of like an abrupt linear thing that continues here. And these potentially linear parallel aspects. This oddly well-defined little curves here, looking like edges of some type of path or a maneuver, or resembling that at least. Okay. Oh, I don't think I talked about, uh, yeah, these faint, fine parallel grooves, which are looking like they could be part of the, uh, the natural creases or crevices or fissures in the rock. Just kind of eroding away, so that's to be considered. Though this is looking kind of abrupt and linear and angular somewhat down here. It's just when you see some artificial patterns on a large scale, how can you be sure that the, the more natural looking stuff isn't artificial as well. It's like, well, if something large scale and artificial is going on, like what else did it do is the question. And what didn't it do is also a very important question. Here, even like this angle, not super definitive, but uh, let's see. Let me get back on the place marks. Abrupt end of maneuver. So uh, we already did that. Well-defined edge. So uh, angular something. Let's check it out. Yeah, see? Angular something. Like here. This as well. Some bumps here. 
as we might call them, possibly, possibly natural features. And see this, this linear feature here? Check that out. Um, so, oh, yep. Oh, yeah, we already, we're looking there. So let's give that another look. And I think it might continue over here as well. Here, no, hard to say. I always try to look a long distance away to see if you can see a continuation of whatever uh, feature you're seeing. Okay, what about this uh, scar over here, this path? See here, we see some kind of more or less well-defined edges. Now we follow it, looking somewhat out of place and regular, like overly regular. Like here looking kind of natural, but here looking just, just weird enough that we might say artificial to me, in my opinion. And this is all, this is all my opinion, obviously. Probably doesn't need to be said, but... Uh, here looking more natural. And then, yeah, looking like a more natural ridge, ridge line. And natural patterns can be straight for a while. Uh, that's to be noted. You just kind of have to use your judgment as to whether you think something's a little too strange or not. And here, another path of, this might be a road even. Yeah, it might be a road, so I don't want to waste time on that, but let's give one more look to this uh, this wide pattern here. And then we'll keep trudging along and going through the place marks. But yeah, actually, like this faint line like this, I feel like that might be like a continuation of this type of feature. Again, not necessarily artificial. Like here, this type of similar thing, this similar thing there. And so it's like a big texturing algorithm is kind of the idea. Here's kind of a, a pretty straight path. Yeah, this is a decent example. Like this right here. And then looking like kind of an angular thing there, perhaps. Possibly seeing some angular stuff here, unless I'm mistaken, like here. Path here, see that? Uh, it's hard to distinguish it from the natural or potentially natural patterns. Like these look like natural paths or fissures or whatever they are. So, whatevs. What do we got here? This looking like something pot potentially. See this? Looking kind of abrupt. I would say, and a natural continuing there, maybe. Um, all right, but uh, a linear path. Yeah, let's check that out. Linear gash. This is this is actually I could have made a whole uh, topical episode on linear gash because this is like a short linear gash. This is a very common phenomenon. Um, that we see all around. I, I remember seeing it in South Africa and certainly South America and uh, right here. Just that. And it could be a more prominent part of a longer path and you just don't see the rest of the path. Like this could be that path as well. Maybe. Possibly. Looking very regular there. Like, ooh, can you make the case that that's natural? I don't know about that. Um, I, don't, I don't even... Well, do I have a place mark there? Uh, I don't think I even do. So, yeah, there's just... <laughs> it's too much. Like, this might be the best example in this video so far. Um, I feel like I've showed a lot of edge cases or questionable examples. But, um, just look at this guy. <laughs> Very clearly defined 
regular straight edges of path or whatevs, whatevers. Okay, uh, let me save my place marks so I don't lose this. All right, um, let's take a, a good look at this linear gash thing. And you gotta, again, you gotta kind of look at it at different zoom levels just to get the kind of subjective feel for what's going on. Like you've got this looking fairly regular and like this. And then we've got this path here looking pretty regular, like like a very regular channel or something. And then uh, this right here, like, oops, what is that? <laughs> and then looking like it changes directions here. Is this a river? I don't know. Is it the natural layers? I think that would be the most likely explanation that this is like the natural edge of the uh, rock layers exposed and eroding or um, just kind of decaying or mm, being exposed along a, a path of rock layer that's very regular. See like here it kind of curves and then here's just like oh it's like just beyond my threshold of like I can believe this is natural. That's why I think some type of sophisticated algorithm is like doing this stuff really strategically so that we can't we can't say for sure that this is artificial but it looks very odd. Um, and then uh, see it like going like this and then continuing like this even see it there looks like it maybe kind of sweeps and continues or maybe like here like yeah like almost across there maybe but uh, this then we have this to consider and looking pretty strange there um, here we have another potentially clean edge of some type of linear activity here maybe like it's, it's quite a bit of stuff. <laughs> Truer words have never been spoken. It's quite a bit of stuff. Bumper sticker. It's quite a bit of stuff. And here, don't have a place mark here, but linear uh, something or other, perhaps looking slightly discontinuous but not 100% sure, so throw a question mark in there, question. Uh, another thing here, like fairly clearly defined edge, linear edge. Once again, I apologize for, uh, oops, for doing this on the fly. It's not great viewing, but uh, uh, it makes the videos longer and it's a little boring. Uh, and it continues here, but again, if I if I stop and edit this, then it becomes a much longer process, and uh, I have to slow down with the release of the videos, which I'm already probably not going 100%, or I'm certainly not, but. Uh, Yeah, it takes longer to edit if I, or it takes longer to put, put the videos out if I edit them. So enough said there. Maybe path here. Bleh, bleh. And all right. I think I wanted to give one more look to this. Parallel linear grooves, got that. linear something there, I think, maybe, or just discontinuous a little bit, subjectively, okay, oh, 
There we go. Maybe. Check this out. Uh, no place mark here, but looking like a very wide path or gash. Wide path or gash. Uh, so that's how I find stuff. I just scroll around and zoom randomly. It's not, not hard. Anybody can do it. Uh, okay, so what caught my eye was this edge here. Uh, and in conjunction possibly with this here. Mm, it's looking like something like this. Or maybe even on the side more. Like just this uh, ridge looks pretty straight. And uh, kind of oddly placed to me. Could be wrong. Will I ever finish this video? We'll see. Uh, how long have we been going? I don't know. This is what it is, probably an hour and a half. Let's see what time it is. Okay. All right, let's look at this guy one more time here. Pretty clearly defined edge. And once again, you can download my place marks. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll remember to put an updated version of my place marks so you'll have all this stuff to look at if you feel like looking at it. But uh, yeah, this fairly clearly defined edge here, here. Looking pretty weird. And yeah, like a regular channel, which doesn't necessarily stay regular as you follow it, which should be noted. Um, see here, it's just kind of meandering and kind of natural looking, but along that same straight path. And then here we have more indications of some type of straightness or artificialness um, or abruptness at least. Uh, yeah, so there you have it. Whatever's going on is going on there. And then path gash. Let's check this out. Uh, this edge here potentially and very many of these in the area. Uh, let's look at this one. Long channel or path or something seems to be evident up here, as far up as up here. So let's start here. Crossing my fingers that this video is not too glitchy so you can actually kind of get a continuous feel for the uh, like this, looking abrupt to my eye. Some kind of abrupt linear feature, and maybe even like along this here, I've got well defined edges of something. Where else? Yeah, I'm sure if we zoomed in on some of this stuff, we might see the same or a similar thing going on. Maybe. It's very hard to say. All right. So this, this long linear scar, which is almost perfectly straight on the large scale. And then this guy was pretty strange, I would say. We have maybe something, maybe not. But uh, yeah, let's check this out. And we can't really tell how long they go because this area is kind of covered by sand. 
So they might continue on, on and on for a long time, but I can't say for sure. So this path here kind of looks like it curves maybe. And looking like it might continue along here. Here we go. Fairly linear and abrupt, in my opinion. Once again, there's a slight statistical probability that this can happen naturally, so I should maybe shut up a little bit. I'll be a little more careful. It's a nice little triangular angular thing here. It's interesting kind of angular look to this area. Interesting. Let me drop a place mark real quick. Hard. All right. So this looking maybe even here as well with these. See that kind of well-defined linear edges almost. Well-defined edges. And also, I would say right here, maybe, I see some maybe well-defined edges there. And uh, all right, so we we're looking at this guy, like this long thing. It looks like it curves and kind of continues along here. So let's keep looking at it. Um, well-defined. So the image is a little blurry, but we kind of see these fairly crisp, clear ridges here. And they don't stay the same distance apart. Like the width of it seems to vary, which is why I don't necessarily think it's some type of straightforward vehicle or, uh, or tool doing this um, reconfiguring or uh, makeover work. It's a possible angle there. And then we kind of lose it. Um, maybe this. See this? Maybe not, but maybe. And they're fairly clean linear edge there, you see. And hard to say if this is an image artifact or not, but this line here. If it's there, it's pretty noteworthy, I would say. And then this nice little clean curve to this right there. And this edge here kind of going like that. It's kind of subtle, but earth uh, comment, my comment about earth commentary. Verbs and nouns, verbs and nouns, guys. Verbs in addition to nouns used in conjunction to generate meaning and confer information and important data. Possible line there. Okay, let me get back on the place marks. Maybe here, line across. Potentially, eh. it's just, it's too much. It's a lot to process and it's all covered in sand. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and then this, um, this long ridge as well. Very clearly defined edge ends abruptly. Um, so, uh, you know, I think I'm just going to do a couple more place marks and then break this coverage up into two videos because I have to go soon anyways. And I have a lot more to show you in Mauritania. So uh, let me try to finish up this general area and then we'll call it a video. Uh, long article.
artificial path. Already kind of covered that. Somewhat well-defined edges, curving in a somewhat natural fashion. Hmm, long path. Maybe this faint one here, I think is what I'm talking about. Uh, kind of see the edge of it there. Natural rock flow could be. Um, this little circle here, that's interesting. Circle, is that a hole or a mound? I don't know. Might even be a bush or image artifact. It's kind of straight tick marky lines there, maybe some curved edge of something. Let's look at this long path or apparent path here. See, to me, these faint indications of a path or an edge are just discontinuous enough with the other flow of the rock in the area to make it suspicious to me. Here's some parallelish curving lines, almost looking like patchy and angular in some of this. Possible straight line there. Uh, let's keep following this. Seems to go like this way or maybe this way. See this. Yeah, it looks like it kind of goes like that. Um, And then linear ridge, what? Yeah, a little bit. This might be a natural geological feature, this differential uh, ribbon of material, even like some type of crystalline or mineral deposit, or I forget what the technical term is, but uh, when there's a ribbon of uh, differing geology, it's a hard word for me to say, geology. Uh, that. Maybe some angular stuff there, maybe not. Let's see. And, okay. Um, so this ridge or edge of whatever this is, might be the same type of thing as the the rim of this and and this long straight thing and this long straight thing um god that bugs me it's looking too regular there that's just beyond my threshold once again bears repeating and it's kind of almost an angular change but very straight right here just enough so that we can figure it out <laughs> throwing us a bone okay so let's look at this uh, uh, we already kind of looked at this long scar or ridge, but uh, this is what I wanted to look at right here. So, uh, looks like the first indication we get of it is right here, and then some kind of, might be like a, a little miniature cliffside, an abrupt cliffside, might even be an, uh, a man-made modern wall, like retaining wall or something to do something with the sand or whatever. Like a sand dam. Uh, maybe a road here, dirt, dirt road, tire tracks. Gotta be careful because that could, I could uh, mis miscategorize, categorize some of these paths when they're just roads. So I try and be careful of that. I think most of the stuff I point out is not roads, but still following this edge here, and it just seems like a very smooth feature, somewhat, I mean, it's obviously a little, little lumpy, a little irregular in places, and here it kind of jumps, and it's, it's like a discontinuous uh, uh, change there, a little step, um, so 
certainly possible that this is natural. Uh, Got a major path, keeps going, and just keeps going and going. And I don't really have a super strong opinion on this ridge, because it looks like something that could certainly be natural. Some fine parallel lines here. Um, looking a little weird. Maybe the lighting is not the best over here, but... Uh, Yeah, considering that this long ridgy thing might be uh, like these other potentially artificial ridges. Um, okay, so I think I'll, I'll leave this video here and then um, maybe give you one more. Uh, here's just a good look at... Oh, this is one of those that could certainly be natural as well. But it's like just beyond my threshold almost. Just the, the regularness of the parallel, both finer scale and, and larger scale, like wider, like more widely spaced and also more finely spaced parallel grooves in the area. Like this could be a natural breakup of the rock, but just the, the parallel uh, texturing of the area. Ah. It irks me, and it's it's just it's well done if it is artificial because like I mean you could certainly they're not they're not perfectly spaced uh, or not perfectly regularly spaced and they're not perfectly parallel but almost uh, and yeah they're not perfectly straight either but almost like this oh that bugs the shit out of me. <laughs> As soon, is it the edge of a natural geological uh, schism or fissure, fissure or differential ribbon of material? Like you're seeing fine indications of it, like there and there. Arg. It's very hard to say, but it makes me raise an eyebrow, certainly. But um, so, yeah, we covered pretty much all of this area. And then uh, in the next video, uh, I'll take you through. The uh, some similar, very similar stuff in the Rashat structure, which is basically just an extension of this area. It's pretty much just more of the same over here as well, over here as well, and then uh, maybe we'll take a look at some stuff down here. So, uh, all right. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Uh, see you next time.